Hi, so I'm just here chilling. Um, I just put some cups of coffee on my altars. I felt like doing an offering tonight. I made some coffee because I'm going to be up late studying. And, you know, I had spilled some on, you know, putting a cup of coffee down. And something said, well, why don't you just write out a quick little, uh, you know, prayer request. So I wrote it on the paper bag. Uh, I got that idea from Hoodoo. I'm not sure uh, what's the reason for the paper bag, but um, I wrote it on the paper bag. I just put some Crown of Success oil. So, you know, I would, I would fold it, um, fold it towards me, uh, thinking that may my studying endeavors be crowned with success. It was a quick little prayer I wrote out, and I'm going to put it underneath this cup of coffee here for St. Martin. He got the biggest cup tonight. Um, and then I am going to write another one and put this Christmas jar I made last year. A resident gave me this as a gift. She's since passed on. She was um, a registered nurse for a long time. She loved to read, and um, I give it a shake. There's sugar, there's um, a candy cane and stuff in there. Um, I'm trying to prop this up, but it's not happening. Um, so I'm going to have to hold it. And sorry for the poor lighting, but it's now, you know, it gets dark so early anymore here. And so I'm going to do that. And I took my first exam today. And I had my tricks with me, of course. All, all that Lucky Mojo Crown of Success oil is so good. I anointed my head before with uh, my St. Diphno oil that I'm almost out of. St. Diphno oil. It is kind of a little bit green. Uh, looks like there's some peppercorns in there. Looks like a bay leaf. That almost looks like um, sea moss or something. Anyway, um, and then I have my clarity oil. So everything's getting crowned with success tonight. Um, so I got all my candles lit. I got my cup of coffee here. Whenever I give my altars coffee, I always sit and have a cup of coffee with them, and I'm having a cup of coffee with you before I get started. Studying for my makeup drug calculations exam. And just a half cup, I feel more at peace when I do my offerings. Um, I had the urge to do a lot of like water glasses, so I have old-fashioned jelly jars I get these jars of just the most amazing jams from the health food store and they're like three dollars a bottle so I save the jars I take the label off and I'm using them as water glasses on my altars and you know it's helping the planet and uh, I think that that's something our ancestors would have done you know, no matter where you're from, all of our ancestors were very thrifty. They didn't have the convenience they have today. I find it really hard to believe that if I was living back in the day and, you know, you got uh, a jar of fat or honey or molasses or something and the jar was empty, you just didn't chuck it in the garbage. So I am repurposing it for a higher purpose um, that is to, I gave St. Martin an extra water glass uh, so he could feed the, give his um, poor people something to drink. So, um, and St. Martin de Porres was a person that helped everyone. Uh, and he ministered to the poor Indians and the poor African slaves. Uh, and so imagine that, you know, if you did the same, you know, you could put an extra water glass for your offerings and your saint would be giving uh, water. Your glass of water today uh, reverberating back through time, giving a 
um, an African slave who survived the the trip across the ocean a much needed glass of water. So there, there's that. Okay. Or, you know, and sometimes I think, you know, I've had a past life as someone who was in a concentration camp and you can't even imagine what clean water meant to those people. So, you know, whatever your ancestral lineage is, everyone has been a slave at some point. Uh, not only black people. I don't mean that disrespectfully for anyone. Please don't email me that I'm saying things against black people or cultural appropriating. I'm just talking about what's in people's bloodline. You know, it's we've all had all of our ancestors have been enslaved by some point. That is the story of mankind in the Bible. Uh, the minute Cain killed Abel. The minute one person was able to have some power over another person, it's it's been with us since the dawn of time, and it, I don't think it's ever going to go away. But that doesn't mean that you know, through the you know metaphysical power of quantum physics and you know the supernatural, that we can help someone back in the day and we can change things. Okay, so. I'll show you my little setup. You see, I have my cup of coffee, and I'm not particularly worried about damaging this table. This table um, was part of a furniture set my mom gave to me uh, even before I got married, and um, so anything goes. I could guess I could have like some clean altar cloths on here, but I'm not worried about it. I'm going to visit my mom this week and get some. Uh, things for fancy stuff for my altars. And I might go to the Botanica and buy um, a Santissima Muerte statue. I don't know if that's going to happen. I would have to hide it from my mom. So, uh, and so the blue lady could have company. Um, the blue lady, the blue lady is the ruler of the house. The blue lady is my mental health, my memory, and things like that. And uh, I wanted to get some pretties for her for Christmas, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I have, this is finals week, um, she's giving me this look like, well, why don't you ask me? Uh, you know, so, she's got that thing pointed right at me. You know, it was funny, when I took her out of the closet, when I was putting her in the closet so long ago, and the thing twirled around and pointed directly at me, it's, I have to tell you this story um, well, I've seen running out of time. That will be another video. I'll make a really good Santissima Muerte video about my story about how she saved me from uh, killing myself once or twice. And so, cheers. I'm going to study now. You know, I'm going to pray over this cup of coffee, ask my ancestors to bless me. I'm doing this for them. I'm doing this for my poor Italian and my poor West Indian relatives who didn't have an education who made it possible for me to be here and god bless america to have all the opportunities in the world thank you very much i